What is going on guys, it's Gabriel FIFA here and today I am back with another FIFA 17 video and as you can tell we're not doing any best goal compilation or anything else like that and what we're going to be doing in today's video is something new to my channel and I have never done this before and as you can tell by the title and from the thumbnail I am going to be showing you guys what are the best formations in FIFA 17 and what are the best tactics to use when you are playing your game. Also guys, just before we get into this video I just want to say that I am not the best FIFA 17 player in the world and I do believe that most of you guys do know that already and if this video does not help you in any way I am very sorry for that and if this if video helps you in some way then like some just good news really and if you guys do enjoy this video please please hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you want to see my videos like this then let's get into some tactics and let me show you what formations are the best to use in FIFA 17. So the first thing you guys want to do is to go into your team management and the first thing you will see is your starting 11 with your substitutes and your reserves and when you're picking your players you want to pick the best players with dribbling, short passing and agility because it will help uh, when you're play trying to play like Barcelona or Arsenal because if you've got a player that does not have very very good short passing it will mean that it's not going to, it's accuracy, pass accuracy, it's not going to be on point and therefore you are going to give the ball away and start conceding goals. The second most important thing, I mean the second thing which is really important, formations and if you've got really really bad formation it's not going to work out too well because imagine you're playing three at the back formation it means you're going to concede goals because you don't have enough defenders and in my opinion when you're trying to play like play like Barcelona or Arsenal you need to have four defenders or five and the best formations are four, three, one, two. 4 1 2 1 2 and 5 2 1 2 as well because those formations are very narrow, which means that all play is going to stay central and it's going to be a lot easier to play 1 2 football. Because if you've got players and the wings, uh, it's going to be quite hard because, you, first of all, you need to get to them to play a nice 1 2 football passes and other way, the wingers need to get to you and play a 1 2 passes as well. So, therefore, if you've got a central formation, it's going to be a lot easier. And therefore you're gonna get your goals a lot lot quicker so guys as you can see I am just putting the best players into the right positions and yeah the substitutes and the reserves don't really matter that much because they just don't help anything with a quick style of football then I get into the roles and the roles that really help either because they're not really important but if you guys want to set them up and have the best place in each position yeah, then do that so because it's gonna make your play quite quite quicker and then as you can see, now we're going to get into the instructions and that is one of the most important parts when you're trying to make your best tactics. And personally, I like to keep my strikers at the stay central and as a target man because it keeps them in this in this um, together and it keeps them like in the same same spot, which means they, they are not going to come back to defend. I'm just going to stay up front and try to get goals and not try to defend, which is going to really ruin the game. And... My attack, attacking midfielder, I like to keep, keep him as stay forward and free roam. Uh, my centre centre midfielder, I like to keep him as um, stay back while attacking. And my left centre centre, centre mid and right centre mid, just leave it how it was. My left back and my right back, I like to keep them uh, stay back while attacking because I do not want to leave any gaps in my defence. So that's all really. Now let's get into the tactics and let me show you the most important thing in today's video. So as you can see we've got default, counter attack, high pressure, possession and long balls. So what you want to do is get into this custom tactics because that's where you make your own. And as you can see we've got build up play, chance creation and defence. So guys as you can see the first thing you're going to cover is build up play. So the first thing you can see is 40 so we're gonna set it, we want to set it up to 70 between 80 because it will keep the play really really quick. Which means that your opponent is not going to react to it really really well. Therefore it's going to be quite easy to get your goals. Then what you want to do is set the pass into 25 because you want to keep it short. If you put it long, it's just going to be really, really slow and boring. And then when you want to keep it free roam. And then we get to the chance creation. So you you want to keep your passing at 25 because you will keep it really, really safe. Because if you do it risky, you're just going to give away a lot of footballs and therefore you're going to concede quite a lot of goals as well. Then you want to put the cross into 50 because if you like to play sweaty just like me, then that is just perfect for you really because if I just like passing the ball into the back of the net. So if you do if you do like that as well, then put it to 50. Then shoot into 25 because you don't want to take just shots from everywhere. You want to take a shot from the best positions possible. Then keep it free, free, 
free form as well. And then we get to the defense. So this doesn't does not read. I mean, this does not really matter. But I like to put it at 60, 50, and 35, and put the defender line to cover the line because it'll keep your defenders together, and therefore you're not gonna give away any goals. So now, guys, what I'm gonna show you is the best goals I scored using these tactics right here, and. Yeah, hopefully guys you do enjoy the goals and hopefully when you are playing your game you can score similar goals to this. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into these goals. So the first thing you can see guys is that my players are staying together in the center of the pitch, which is really really good. And as you can see the quick passing and the short passing is working so so well. And as you can see there's the sweaty goal. Um classic me, classic on my channel. And yeah, that did put us up 1-0 in the 75th minute. Uh, I did have quite a lot of shot passing goal, I mean, shot passing chances and stuff like that. But the keeper seemed to save them quite, quite quick. I mean, a lot, which meant which meant that I could not get the goals. Then around the 83rd minute, it happened again. Central style of football yet again, and some nice Barcelona or Arsenal, however you want to call it. Yet again, played some nice passes, nice back heel into Muller. Muller played the ball, played a nice ball to Lewandowski. Nice chip to Muller, and Muller just, Muller just smashed it into the bottom right corner. A nice little finish. Then we got into another game, and as you can see, my players are still staying together, uh, together, which is really, really well. I mean, really, really good. I played nice, nice free ball to Aguero. Aguero found some, found the Bruyne making a run. Played, played a nice back heel to him, and he finished into the bottom right corner, which is a nice, nice little finish. I did put us up 1-0 in the first 10 minutes of the game. Then with 10, 20 minutes remaining, we did get another chance. Some nice playing, I mean, some nice style of football. And some nice build-up. Played a nice chip over to Sanya, and Sanya did finish in the top right corner. Nice, nice little goal. Did put us up 2-0. And yes, just, just the tactic works so, so well, guys. If you want to use it for yourself, make sure you do. It's so, so good. It's going to help you when you play in your game. And you can use this in foot drafts, seasons, head-to-head -head seasons, career mod or anything else like that and it's gonna help you so so much to improve your game so when you're playing FIFA 17 just keep on using this and I am so so sure this will help you when you're trying to play your game really so that's it guys if you enjoyed the video please 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 hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you can hit like 20 likes that would just be amazing and yeah hopefully guys you're having a great day and if you're not hopefully it does change and I will see you next time With